Apple's 18.2 beta is here with a new feature that I have been anxiously waiting to show you because it's a big one. This is Apple's Image Playground, Apple's image creation tool, which you can download and use to create these crazy custom images on your device. You can create even your custom avatar or emojis, anything you want. Now, the best part, no third-party apps and no sending your prompt or your personal data to any server out there. This is the first time that Apple is getting such an image creation tool to its users, which makes it a big deal, especially when the competition out there is offering image creation tools. Now, there are differences here, there are limitations, there are pluses about this feature as well. And it's not that difficult, it's just adding a prompt, hitting create, and then sharing it with your friends and family because this is how easy the feature is. So the big question is, how does this feature work? How can you download it onto your iPhone? And what are some of these limitations that I'm talking about? Because yes, it has its own set of quirks. I'll tell you everything about Image Playground and how you can get it in this video. This is Cyrus on Fiber by India today. So first things first, you won't see this feature on your latest iPhone unless you have the 18.2 beta update on your device. Now, even after you get the update, you still need to get that early access to the image playground feature, which I have received by the way, which is why I'm able to uh, show you this and it's in the developer beta stage and it's not the public beta. So yes, uh, there's a bit of a complication. And if you're using any of the iPhone 16, 16 Pro or the 15 Pro series, you will be able to use the image playground feature on your device. Now this feature works on iOS 18.2, iPad OS 18.2 and Mac OS Sequoia 15.2. So if you don't see this feature on your iPhone yet, just stay patient because Apple will release the update in the months to come. So it will come to you, you'll be able to use it and you know, try to be your creative best. Now, unlike some of the other tools uh, in the market, you get better privacy with this one, but in terms of creativity, yes, there is not a lot of photo realism that you get with Image Playground because Remember, all of the image processing that's happening is happening on the device and Apple is not sending any of your data to its servers. So yes, you get that benefit of privacy, but in terms of realism of photos, it's not there. So how to use it? It's pretty simple. Just open the app and you'll be greeted with tons of these options to personalize your images in front of you around this floating uh, glowing cloud. Now, you can select themes like adventure, summer or fantasy to, you know, set the mood however you want it and you will be able to have these custom options from artists or chefs or superheroes or even robots whatever you want to make they're all laid out very in a very clean manner in front of you now you can also add a range of accessories like beanies uh, party hats headbands crowns so a lot of options are available if you want to experiment. Now, Apple has limited the creativity to just two styles in this version, animation and illustration. You won't be able to get lifelike images like I mentioned before because it's sort of a safety feature that Apple doesn't want to let people create any real lifelike images, but you will get high quality illustrations and animations. Now, Apple at this year's WWDC in June did announce that Apple will also get a sketch style uh, with the image playground feature. It's not here right now, but you will see it in the coming updates. Now, the good thing is that you will be able to describe how you want your image to be in this describe section. All you have to do is just enter a prompt and the image that you get in front of you will be as per your prompt and it could be anything. Yes, there are certain limitations to what you can write, but Apple is giving you the option to customize the image as per your requirements. Remember that you can add these prompts and also subtract it from the entire setup basically to have a better description of the kind of image that you want created. Now the good thing is Apple says like why just create why not share it because of which it is also giving you the option to share these images via its uh, inbuilt messenger application and also you can save the photo in your photo gallery and share it on whatsapp or instagram or any of the social media now you also get the option to edit these images if you have saved them into your gallery and you want to make some changes so that option is also there adds more flexibility to the entire app now like i said before the application has been integrated into the imessages application which means you get this 
feature directly into the iMessages app. All you have to do is uh, tap on this plus option and there you will see image playground. And here you can directly create any of the image that you want to send to any of the people on your chat list. It's a custom option that you have and just, you know, makes conversations more, uh, more fun. Now with the 18.2 update, you also get another feature called Genmoji, which basically allows you to create these custom emojis just by entering prompts. Now you can share it with anyone that you are chatting with and you can make these customizations based on your images or from anything that you want. You can just, you know, let your creativity go wild. Now remember this feature is in its beta stage right now. So it's not perfect. It will not give you all of the accurate uh, results that you are expecting, but you can always give that feedback to Apple. Now Apple has given that specific option here with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you like the image, you give it a thumbs up. If you do not like it, then you tap on the thumbs down and then you have to state why you didn't like the result that Apple created. It's just a good way to make the product a bit more better for you guys. So yeah, if you give a genuine feedback, Apple will take that feedback into consideration and then make the product better. That's how beta versions work. Now, some of the quirks that are there existing in this, uh, well, one of them is that you don't get to have full images. You only get chest up portrait images of people and you will not be able to get that full body shot that you want from this creative engine. And the big problem is you only get a square resolution. You don't get a landscape, which is kind of a big deal breaker for me. Hopefully, Apple will work on this in future updates and release a version where I'm getting full, you know, 16 by 9 images, full landscapes. Also remember, Apple has restricted the use of certain words when you're describing the images for uh, safety purposes and also copyright because uh, people can get a bit naughty online. So Apple doesn't want that happening, especially on its uh, platform. So yes, Image Playground is being pitted as a family friendly application. So it wants to keep it that way. Also remember all of the copyright images that you're using from outside, downloading them and putting them in image playground to create something new. Those will also be protected by copyright and will not be able to use for commercial purposes. So I just wanted to let you know. Also the use of any political symbols or the use of national flags uh, is restricted. That could spark some kind of controversy online. So Apple is playing it a bit safe. It will not allow you to use any of these symbols. So yes, you have to be creative, but Apple is just not wanting to get into a space where people will misuse this feature. So that's a quick lowdown on Apple's new image playground feature. I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's just come to the iPhone and I wanted you to get a look and feel of how it will be when you yourself uh, get for your own creativity. Now the big question is who will use this feature? I don't think it's restricted to any sort of an age limit. Anybody can use it, especially people who want to add more creativity to the way they converse online. If you want to create images and share it on social media, that is also an option and if you're getting it all on the device without having to switch applications or go to any third-party website I think it's a good feature to have and it's a big deal for Apple users now there are other people who would want such an application or a tool on their phone there are plenty of options out there you can also try out meta AI and also chat GPT that let you create images like these however I will state one thing that the kind of likeness and the kind of resemblance that I get with my images when I create on Image Playground, the resemblance is better on iPhones rather what I get from ChatGPT. So yes, there are certain differences and I find these results on the iPhone much better. So thanks for watching this video. This was a quick one on Image Playground. Let us know in the comment section what you think about Image Playground and some of the AI features coming to the new iPhone series. And you can let us know which of these features you would want us to create a separate video on because that's what we are doing, getting you the best of Apple's AI features on Fiber. This is Cyrus signing off. I'll see you very soon in the next video.